One of the questions I get asked time and time again is how do you choose a suit? There are so many different variations out there, so many companies producing great suits, it's difficult for the customer to choose. So my tips are, first of all, you've got to decide on what colour you want. So is it a black suit that you're actually going to use for like maybe evenings and party? Is it a business suit, so you're looking for like a kind of navy blue suit or a grey? Or is it for a summer wedding where maybe a lighter grey suit would be terrific? So get the colour straight first of all. The next thing you need to decide is what the fit is going to be because again, we all vary in shape and size, and if you're a guy with, that's carrying a bit of weight and you've got a little bit of a tummy on you, go for a suit that's not pinch tight, but that actually is slightly loose around the waist, and peculiarly, that actually makes you look slimmer than trying to cram into a suit that's too small for you. If you're a slimmer frame or you're a younger guy, then the trend is towards a narrower shoulder, a slightly tighter waist, a narrower sleeve, so again go for a slim fit suit rather than going for that classic fit suit. The other thing is, what length should it be? Now again, the trend is towards men's jackets getting slightly shorter again, so whereas if you were six foot three years ago, you might have gone for a long coat, go for a regular coat. So again, wear the coat slightly shorter than you would normally wear them. So that's the second tip. The third tip is the variation in price. Now this can be confusing. Now the suits that I make have one particular peculiarity to them. That a lot of suits out there, inexpensive suits, have what's called a fused front. So the fabric on the whole front of the jacket has actually got a stuck on fusing to it. And that tends to make the jacket very ungiving and very crisp, it doesn't move with you. All of the suits that I make either have inside, hidden away, what's called a floating chest piece. So it's layers of canvas on the inside and it makes the whole feel of the jacket feel much easier, much more relaxed. On our luxury tailoring suits, we not only do that, we put in what we call a half canvas effect where the top half of the suit is hand basted to the canvas which makes it feel even softer. So check out whether or not the suit you're buying has got a fused front, it's got a floating chest piece or it's a half canvas and if you want that extra bit of luxury go for the floating chest piece or the half canvas and it'll last you a lot longer. So that's the third tip. The final tip is when you're bearing a, buying a suit it really is an investment. It's not something that you want to last for two or three months. You actually want to have a good suit for two, three years. So make sure that the store that you buy it from can do those little tiny adjustments that make you feel real comfortable. Maybe it needs a little bit of nipping in at the waist. Maybe the sleeve length needs taking up half an inch. Maybe the, the trouser bottoms need taking up half an inch or an inch. A good shop will be able to do all of those alterations for you. They shouldn't charge you anything for them, by the way, because it's all part, should be part of their service. And at least you walk away thinking, I've got a suit which has had that little bit of expertise shown to me and I feel absolutely perfect in it.